What's up guys, welcome again to my channel, I'm back with more tutorials about LMMS. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, open a plugin into LMMS. Some of my subscribers have been wondering how to do that, so I'm going to show you that today. It has been a while since I um, uploaded a video, but I'm back with more tutorials, so don't forget to subscribe and give a like to this video. Okay, so I'm opening an LMMS uh, new project. Uh, by the way, I'm recording with uh, with a microphone of uh, headphones uh, because uh, right now I don't have my microphone. Uh, but yeah, that's what I have right now. So uh, yeah, maybe I'm being listened with another quality, but uh, I'm going to show you this anyways. Okay, so first you have to know that there are two ways to open uh, a plugin into LMMS. One, it's opening it here in the song editor and use it as an instrument and the other way is opening open it as an effect in the effects mixer right here um so yeah the first way to open it as an instrument it's um uh, okay so uh first you have to know that once you download a plugin um uh, from the internet or from wherever it's going to give you a zip file once you export that zip file it's going to give you a file dot dll okay all the plugins have this uh format dot dll you're going to recognize it because this it has these little gears right here so this is the synth one this is going to be the the plugin that i want to open in lmms so for open it i just have to go here to the left in the little house or yeah where it where it gives you all the files from your computer as you can see so you search for the for whatever is the carp the the folder where you save your plugin your dll file for example i have it here in this one synth one okay this one this is the the plugin the files that have the little b on it this is the plugin so you the only thing you have to do is drag and drop and there it is um you wait a little bit and now what you have to do is open this uh vestige this is the the thing that lms used to open a plugin and you click here and this is your plugin right here okay so that's the way to open a plugin um i'm using the synth one right now okay so that's the way to open a plugin into lms as an instrument into the song editor now let's suppose that i want to open a plugin as an effect as an effect uh um i have these two channels right now and let's suppose that i want to open an effect in the channel one so um you what you used to do to open an effect into lmms is click here and add effect and it gives you all the effects that comes with lmms as you are seeing right now in this here so it has like the all pass delay aliasing it has all the effects that comes with lmms but what if i want to add an effect that i downloaded in my computer as a plugin uh, uh lmms doesn't shows me that plugin right here in this list so what you have to do is go to edit configuration and it gives you these settings you go to the little folder right here and you click this folder where it says uh where it says bst plugins directory you click right here and you search for the carpet for the folder where you you search for the folder where you have your your plugin for example this is the folder that i have saved my plugins so you click it then you click choose you click okay and now you go to the FX mixer again and you click add effect and it's going to give you the same list with all the effects that comes with LMMS but it is going to give you also your plugins so if you search here in this bar for your plugin for example my plugin name is Yolian loudness meter and here it is it gives you not only the the effect that comes with lmms but your effects from your computer so yeah that's what you have to do and you click ok and it's going to give you uh well your your plugin 
uh, this loudness meter that I have right here to master my songs. So yeah, basically that those are the two ways to open a plugin into LMS. Open it as an instrument and open it as an effect. I hope this video is useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe for more content about LMMS and music production, uh, especially Synthwave. I have news for you. Um, I'm releasing my new album this February. Um, finally, the work that I've been doing for almost 11 months, it's going to be released finally this February. So I hope you, you stay tuned to this channel to learn more about LMMS and to, um, to get noticed when I release new music. So see you in another video.